for the Tenants Light Handicap Steeplechase, the first of the afternoon here on Tenants Race Day at uh, they make the uh, fairly lengthy run to uh, the first of uh, 13 offences with Tonto Spirit setting at the pace and leads uh, by around about a length and a half over Ardera Cross who lies in second. Then the favourite Drum Connor Lad in the uh, green sleeves. Uh, that one's inside run both Clan Legend and Von de Guy and parked uh, a little bit wider out uh, early on is Roxborough Road. First start today for trainer Ben Haslam. So making the run towards the first of the 13 obstacles and uh, Tonto Spirit with the big white face is showing in front and jumps well. They're all over it safely. Second place on the outside is Ardera Cross as they now come towards the second. All over it safely. That fence was an open ditch. Over those first two fences, Roxborough Road the jumping not really standing the test and has just plummeted a few lengths away in last place. All safely over the third, and on now towards the obstacle, which will be the last in one further circuit of the track. And Tonto Spirit in a nice early rhythm, well across that, well away from it, and leading up by three lengths. Over in second place, uh, Ardera Across, a recent uh, winner across at Musselburgh. And then back in third is Drum Connor Lad, who scored at Leopardstown the last time he was seen out. Racing in fourth is Vonjo de Guy over to the inside of Clam Legend and the back marker by a further three quarters of a length is Roxborough Road who on the flat has caught up a little bit as they now swing left-handed out towards the far side of the track and they've completed their first five furlongs with Tonto Spirit in the hands of Connor O'Farrell continuing to dictate at the fractions here, leading them away from the stands on pretty testing ground. In second position is Ardera Cross for Willie Young and then to the inside of Angeau de Guy with uh, out a little wider on the track at Drum Connor Lad and then Clan Legend and at the back marker Roxborough Road but they're very tightly grouped as they enter the back straight and they're now on the approach to the first of the five fences going down here uh, the third of these uh, down here is an open ditch all of the others are plain and Ardera Cross towards the outside is now putting it up to Tonto Spirit for the lead with again at the back end of the field Roxborough Road just losing a bit of ground and being uh, shunted along by Richie McClernand on they go towards the halfway stage and the second fence uh, over in the back once again, the whole field at landing safely. Tonto Spirit, neck to the good over in second place, Ardera Cross, as they now are on the approach to the seventh fence. This is the second of the three open ditches in the race. And Tonto Spirit rather plunged at that fence, went right through the top of it, but got away with it. With on the outside, Ardera Cross uh, still for company. Drum Connor Ladd and Adrian Heskin wider out of them and moving well. Then follows Clan Legend and Von Jeu de Guy. And uh, completely tailed off now is at Roxborough Road. They head towards the uh, fifth from home. The last fence over in the back straight. They've nearly completed a circuit. And uh, with the exception of Roxborough Road, they've all got a chance. Tonto Spirit, Ardera Cross, a length back in third is Drum Connor Ladd. Von Jeu de Guy over to the inside. And Clan Legend is uh, splitting rivals. So the five who count are very tightly clustered as they swing left-handed out of the back straight. Roxborough Road is continuing on, but I don't think for a great deal further. They've got four more fences left to get across in the home run, and it is Tonto Spirit, who's been there all the way. Now pushed along to the outside is Ardera Cross. Right up in behind them, Von Jeu de Guy, Clan Legend, the pink sleeves and the green sleeves of Drum Connor Lad, now beginning to engage as they make the run down the home straight and towards the fourth fence from home. Ardera Cross responding to pressure is now joining Tonto Spirit once again. On the left is Drum Connor Lad as they took to the fourth fence from home and only a length away to both Vonjeur de Guy, who's travelling all right, and Clan Legend towards the outer. Three to jump, five in a line there. Clan Legend blundered pretty badly. Tonto Spirit, Vonjeur de Guy continues to impress with the way he moves. To the outside is Drum Connor Lad. He is two out. And Drum Connor Lad is now joining in to the outside of Vonjeur de Guy, who's now being popped the question. A gallant Tonto Spirit is sticking to the task along the inside. Then Clan Legend and a fading idea across. Here's the final fence. Drum Connor Lad came through to take it up. That's going at the final fence, Tonto Spirit, who'd given such a bold show. It's Drum Connor Lad up the run who's now two lengths away from Von Jeu de Guy in second, and they're racing into the final 50 yards. Punched out by Adrian Heskin, Drum Connor Lad will go on and follow up his Leopardstown win. Beats into second position, Von Jeu de Guy. It was close for third, Ardera Cross and uh, Clan Legend. I'm pleased to report that both Tonto Spirit and Connor O'Farrell are up, and seemingly okay after that final fence tumble. That's why we brought out the big guns for the big meetings at Wolverhampton now, where uh, this time it's Mick Fitzgerald's turn. Did it nicely in the end, Mick. This is a big win for trainer Adrian Keatley, isn't it? Yeah. Um, remember the name, because I think he'll do really well. He's a great lad, works very hard, places his horse as well. You can see the way this horse's action. 
He's obviously quite difficult to train, but he had him absolutely primed for today, and he's delivered the goods. I'm just... I have to apologise. It's not 14 to 1 like Jason. <laughs> when it's a winner, yeah. Michael, yeah. used there that Tonto spirit is perfectly... Drum Connor lad at 3 to 1. Wenger made a horrible mistake down the back straight at a crucial stage, but did get back in.